Once upon a time there lived in Celia Castle Lord Herman. He had a son named Frederick. He was a hero like no one else. When he was young, he married Elizabeth. Soon they had a son Ulf. But Frederick didn't love Elizabeth. He was looking for a sincere love. His wife was terminally ill. At the request of his father, he wrote to the castle Kershko to be her company. When he rode through the forest, he saw a beautiful young woman in a white dress. She was a woman of his dreams. He grabbed her hand and looked her deep in the eyes. Who are you? He asked. Where are you from? I'm Veronica from the Senica. It was love at first sight. Frederick had already planned his castle in which he would live with Veronica. But his father crossed his plans because he didn't let marriage. You won't marry her. She's poor and not from our kind. I don't allow you. But I will marry her father because she's the love of my life. Frederick comforted his father and together with Veronica escaped and hid in the castle. But Herman went to get them with army. Friedrich wasn't at home because he was traveling in Celia to his death and Veronica escaped through the fence. When Friedrich heard that she escaped, he started to look after her in the whole country. Even farmers were looking for her and made troubles to Herman's army, who also didn't stand still. Veronica! Veronica! Veronica wasn't found, but Herman closed his son in the tower. Every day he ate dry bread and drank water, but he was okay. He thought about Veronica. Father, in exchange for the freedom, demanded to forget his love, but Friedrich didn't do that. Each day he was coming back into the tower. Tower was guarded by new soldier. He was spotted how he stared into the window of Friedrich's room. One day, his hand stuck in the bush. It was Veronika de Senishka. Soldiers brought her to the castle and Count Herman gave her clothes in, in prison. Herman demanded for Fried from Friedrich that he give up Veronika, otherwise she would be executed. So he had no choice but to forget her.